Okay, yeah. Um, so that was that. My fiance just called me. I apologize. What happened with my it's not it's not pulling anymore. I wonder what that means. Whatever. Okay. Now, um, one of my gifts for my birthday, my friend got me this. I don't know if she know that I, you know what? I think I did tell her about my body scripts I love, my sugar scripts, should I say? And I tell her I like tree hub. I don't know. Maybe she just used it too or a great mind think alike or she just, you know, she, that she uses it. Because she bought me this. And she like, girl, you got to try this what I use. So, I'm gonna, I haven't used it yet. I'm going to show y'all. This is what it is. And this is Coca Cola. Coladia. I don't know how to pronounce that. Coco Colada. Gotta be. Colada. Yes, that's what it gotta be. C O L A D A. So, let's see. And, hmm. It's coming from the same company, so I know it got to be good. Of course, I smelt this, so. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like coconut. Let's see. Tree nut, like, I like them. Okay, yeah, this is different. Yeah, it's definitely giving coconut vibes. Like, it's thick. Not so much thick, but it's like got that oil base that oil that's going to like stay like coconut oil yes i like that so i'll be using that i'm gonna be mixing mines up like someday some spas i'll be using my um my rock and rolls and then some days i'm using this cocoa shout out to my friend because she showed out oh yes so, I got a lot of stuff for my birthday. I had got some perfumes. I love smell goods. I got a bunch of spas. I got some wine. I cook, as y'all know. So, I got um, a bunch of new silverware because silverware in my house is disappearing. These kids, I don't know what they're doing. If they're swallowing them, throw them away. I don't know what, but they just disappearing. And it's just like, what is going on? But, you know, in my kitchen, how the counters is, I have uh, the garbage at the end of the counter. And it's like the sink, my dish rack, and then the garbage is right there. So I'm thinking when we be throwing stuff away, they probably be sliding in the garbage. I don't know. Have any is anybody else dealing with that with they young youngins? The silverware spoons and sports is just missing. Cause I know I am. So yeah, I got a whole new box of that. Um silverware. I got a dish set, um, pots and pans. You can't go wrong with that. See, I'm I'm grown. I'm, see, 28 is kicking in because I like stuff that I need and I can use. I like household stuff. Give me that and I will love you for life. I don't need all that fancy stuff. I like fancy stuff. Don't get me wrong, but I don't need it. I like it. I want it. You know, something that I like and want, I can get myself. So, you want to give me something? Give me something that I need. Give me something I can use. Give me something that's useful. You know? Um, I got some shaving stuff. I got some... um. Perfume, all that type of stuff. Yeah. Pretty much. I got some money. Some I can use. So that's good. And there it is. But as of now, what I'm going to do, I got some to drink too. Now, I love me some tequila. Patron. Got me a big old box of Patron. I'm like, yes. Y'all should went out for your girl. Now, this. Who's there? Hey, babes. What's up, girl? So. I got this. I think I'm going to bust this down. Make me a mimosa. You want some mimosas, baby? Yeah, make me some mimosa, baby. Okay. And it's a rose sparkling wine. Now, me, I am a Stella Rose type of chick. But I'm going to try this. I'm sure it is. I'm going to make it, make, fix it on up. I guess I could say that's a little bit of cooking. Because I am I can show y'all how I make my mimosas. Maybe you ought to open up this. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Because honey. I know do it for the channel. <laughs> Do it for the channel. No, let it pop and hit the mirrors, please. No, I love my mirrors. <clears throat> I 
Well, yeah, um, I've been cooking since Christmas, y'all. I've been cooking since Christmas. I've been drinking since Christmas. I just woke up, and this man asked me, come with me, come around with me, babe. I'm just like, it's cold as hell outside. I just woke up, and you want me to come outside? Like, it's too damn cold. I'm comfortable. I don't my gown. But I'm glad he ain't put up a house, so he just, like, you know what, all right. And he went. And look, you back already, babe. Mm-hmm. Let me guess. You got to leave out again. Mm -mm. Okay. They're gonna, they're gonna watch cars now. I'm gonna go to right pick up in the morning. All I'm right. good for the night because I got that lick. Okay, big. Well, there it is. I'm gonna give me a, you want a mimosa? Yeah! I think I just asked you that. You want to talk shit, man? Okay, let's see. Pop it that way. <laughs> no, I'm gonna pop it to the wall. I'm, I'm gonna do it on the channel. Let them see. Come on. Just do it like on the floor a little bit. You can pour it up. Oh my god. <laughs> and that's what I don't like about wine. Oh shit. RP Troy, RP C that RP must want to know, RP funny, RP Ricardo. Okay. RP Uncle Cool. RP great people, man. And happy birthday. Happy birthday to that special woman. To me. It's our birthday. It's our birthday today. No, it's over with. I'm tired. I do black people. Babe, get my cup. Babe, get my cup for me that pink cup I just had. What's up? And put some ice in it and some um, orange juice. You gonna cook for me? Make you a steak and a big salad. Oh yes, honey. I need it. What cup, baby? You want this? I want the pink one, my favorite one, yeah. Just put some ice and orange juice in there, halfway orange juice. You gonna make me one? Yeah. Make two cups, ice and orange juice, I do the rest. All right, but um, y'all, I've been cooking since Christmas. I've been drinking since Christmas. Cause my birthday, December 26th after Christmas. So I had to, of course, bring my birthday in. A bitch is tired. Like today, I am chilling, but I'm gonna sip me some wine. I'm chilling. I did my little spa today, my scrub. I took me a big, a good bubble bath. Me and him was, me and um, fiance was in there talking, listening to music, and just you know, just chopping it up and stuff. Just basically just recapping the whole week and stuff. So now we just chilling. My kiddos at their own house. They wanted to stay over there. So they out of school, so I'm gonna let them go because they've been in the house ever since. They've been playing. They didn't with their toys and stuff. And my son, he got um, a lot of ga video games to go with his gang that he was born in. So he ain't he ain't been he ain't left the house, the room, or nothing. So they let got out the house or whatever. They over there. So now I'm just relaxing or whatever. But for Christmas, what did y'all cook for Christmas? I try to do something different this year. I was you know I had just cooked for Thanksgiving, so I didn't want to do the same. Thing. I didn't want to eat the same food. I know a lot of y'all feel like that too. And I was going to do seafood, but last year, last Christmas, I did seafood because I wanted to do something different. So, this year, I wanted to do some jerk oxtails. I, like, really, really wanted to do that. And I don't know why us women, we always wait the last minute. I'm going to say that again. We always wait the last minute. I went to, like, three stores. They didn't have them. So, I'm like, okay. Then the jerk stuff that I get, couldn't find it. They was out. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's just not meant for me to do that. So I ended up just making some neck bones. That's something different. Um, I made some jerk neck bones. Not jerk. I just made some neck bones the regular way how I usually make it. And I had a little bit of jerk season I put in there, but it wasn't jerk really because I didn't do everything that I usually do. But I made some jerk. I made some cabbage. I, oh, my God. When I say the cabbage, man, all of, everything I made, what was the best to you? Okay. Be honest. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, the cabbage was so good. And I'm going to show y'all what I did because when I made, okay, so here got the mimosa. You probably can't see. I got some orange juice and ice. And I'm going to just basically fill up half. Your girl is a bartender, okay? In the making. Put half. There's a lot of people out they catching on Christmas sales, honey. The, after Christmas sales. Just messed that on up. I wish I had a fruit. I would put it on up in there. And I'm going to do his. I don't know why. Why he ain't getting no glass? Make it look fancy. Just get so. Man, just don't care. I have two cups like this. He just did that. But that's that. Okay, let's try it. Let's see how this mix tastes. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, that's good. Mm. I'm gonna try on that. I'm gonna take me a shot. It's up in that cabinet. That is good. It's good, baby. Yeah, they showed out with that. How likes this, honey? You want your hot one? Oh my gosh. I'm on my channel now. Okay. I don't do all that. You professional? Yes. You can't go wrong with this, honey. Why is shit strong with it? It's good. Yeah. But yeah, I um, what I was saying, my cabbage was so good. My, when I had, I ain't gonna lie, I, my mom was set to make some oxtails, so I had bought a bunch of ingredients and stuff for my oxtails. But I'm like, out about all this, I'm finna use this. One thing about me, I hate wasting stuff. I hate when people waste food. My kids, well, my kids don't even waste food. Anything I cook, they eat and want more. But I just don't, I just hate wasting food. I just hate that. I don't know, I just hate that. I don't like wasting food. But, um, I'm not gonna use this. So I ended up putting the stuff, some of the stuff that I was gonna use for my oxygen, I put it in my cabbage. And when I tell y'all it was the best cabbage I ever made and had, it was right. so good. Like, do y'all know when y'all cook? I know y'all do get this too because I think every family do. But you know how when you cook, don't it always be still some green? After everything's gone, What's left would be a little bit of green still or a little bit of cabbage. When I tell y'all, this bucket, this pot was just gone. We had, I had a little bit of dressing still, but the whole fucking yeah, cabbage there was a little bit of gone. Yeah, the um, dressing, usually the dressing be completely gone, but it was like a little bit in there. But I had a that's big ass pan. That's because you made a big stupid ass pan on that shit. Yeah, I had a big old pan, so. That shit lasted forever. That shit was too. But yeah, I had made, so I had made some um, neck bones. I had made some cabbage. I ain't gonna say what I put in there. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna vlog making some good cabbage, how to make some. That is just so good and different. I made some, um, Neck bones, cabbage, dressing, some corn on the cob, some dinner rolls. Simple. Uh, it was so good. I wasn't on my feet all day. Oh, yeah, and I made some uh, Cornish hens because I put chicken in my, um, I like to grill my meat and then put it in my dressing. So I made that and then I made a whole nother Cornish ham. I was going to fry it, but I'm like, no, nah, I might as well just bake it to a crisp, make it real crispy, and that's what I did too. I can show, I should, I'm gonna might upload a picture and show y'all. But um, it was good. Everything was good. I wasn't on my feet all day like I was Thanksgiving. I was cooking and starting the day ahead of time. And like I said, my birthday was the next day. I wasn't just gonna be cooking all day because then it comes my birthday. I wasn't gonna want to do nothing. So I just made a little something, and it was everything was really really good. It really was. And my favorite food is corn. If you don't know, corn is my favorite food. Which is not normal because it's not like really like a dish or nothing. But that I just love corn. Call me the corn lady. <laughs> I just love corn, especially corn on the cob. It's really it's corn on the cob. So I love. I love it, and I girl some Mexican corn, any type of corn. I don't care. Well, no, not any time because that cream of corn that is nasty. But have you ever had cream corn? I don't really like that. Yeah. Now I now my mama didn't made it and I didn't ate it probably when I was a kid. Once or twice. And I'm like, nah, I don't really feel in that. Who wants some creamy ass corn? I don't know. Some people might like it. But corn, you cannot go wrong with it. You can make it any time. I love it. I can eat that every day. Every day. But y'all, yeah, that's all I have for y'all today. I'm going to come back with a cooking vlog. Probably show y'all to make some cabbage. Uh, I'm going to upload, show y'all my birthday pics, how I licked it. I was, dang, period. My curls, they didn't turn out how I wanted them. The girl, she came. She Don't get me wrong. She took her time. She did her thing. But I think I didn't let them set that long. Uh, Christmas Day, I should have got my curls done. And I should have had her rolled it and had it sit all night, overnight. What I usually do, but I didn't. I had her come curl like an hour before I got dressed. And then we didn't have no, we didn't use no spritz. And that would help. So, I still look the cute though. I look the very cute. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of compliments. And, yeah. That's pretty much. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Remember, 
when you want to do a body scrub, these are the items you get. Moroccan rose. Remember that. Moroccan rose, I want to say again. The smell is so good. Like, oh, my God. It smells so good. And this is the sugar scrub. Can't go wrong. You get it at Walmart. And then I would tell y'all, I'll give y'all another vlog in the future about this, how, how this is. Is it good for the body? Did it lather up good? How does it react to my body? Because like I said, I have sensitive skin. But yeah, I'm going to finish um, chilling this day out with my fiance. Drink my mimosa. And um, talk his ears off. Because that's <laughs> what I like to do. And listen to my music. Alright, y'all. I will be back.